What is going on, y'all? Welcome to the video. My name is Ryan, aka Juno Ryan. We have an absolutely stellar day of mahi fishing. Pretty, pretty epic, if you do ask me, out here in Okinawa, Japan. Then, we're gonna head right on back to where I am right now in my kitchen. We're gonna cook up some delicious, let me tell y'all, delicious mahi tacos. It's gonna be an awesome video. Let's get out on the water. What is going on, y'all? Welcome to part two of the most productive day of mahi fishing I've ever experienced. Out here in Okinawa, Japan, in the winter time, it means lots of mahi and mahi of good size. So we were out fishing at a pie out, which is essentially a buoy in like a thousand feet of water. So the ocean being this giant place, that buoy creates a lot of habitat for bait fish and things of that nature. So the mahi love to hang around those areas. It's almost a guarantee that you're going to go out and find some mahi this time of year. We absolutely crushed them. This part two, we have a lot of footage that you all haven't seen before. So grab a beverage, whatever you're into, sit back and enjoy. This is an awesome day. Yeah, for sure. Good. We're throwing a variety of plugs, jigs, dead bait. Really, these mahi were eating a little bit of everything. They're super fast growers, so they're always hungry. And if you present something in the right way, you typically can almost always get them to eat. Tail walking them. Fishing on a trip like this one, it's an extremely unique situation because you're out with a bunch of dudes. Some have never fished a day in their life. Some are extremely experienced. So you kind of have to learn how to work with each other, work around this really small boat that you're on and try and land as many fish as you can. It's, it's really unique and it's, it's super awesome because sometimes you just get a great group of guys that just mesh together really well and you all just have an amazing time. The trip that I was on this time was with Salty Rods Fishing Charter, so I have their stuff linked in the description. Bunch of small ones. We don't want those. Pete's on. Set the hook! Oh my god! Look at that drag stream in action. <laughs> we get them all fired up with a lure, then you throw out a bait, a dead bait, and they just crush it. Woo! 
absolute mayhem out here. Got Michael working, you know? He's out here making that. <laughs> making it happen. about the same size as the one I got. So, depends on how big you want. <laughs> a mahi. It's going to be a lot faster than anything I ever do. Thank you. Yeah, so it's like every other fish where I start. Just outline the head on the top here. All right. So mahi are different. We got to go all the way to the spine on the back. I'm like two number. You just make a little outline. So that's what takes them a little bit longer than other fish. So you lift up. Lift up that first cut and then you want to go all the way down to the spine. Talk a little bit louder. Oh, yep. So you go all the way down to the spine. You can see the spinal cord or right down there. I'll flip it over. And then belly meat's usually not most desirable with mahi, so kind of cut a little high on that. Oh, yeah. Down yeah, to the I've tail. see people just cut from here to like there. Yeah, diagonal. Know. Same thing on the bottom. You want to lift up, make sure you get, see the ribs right there. Absolutely. And all the way to the spine on that side, too. And then I learned flip over. Same thing on the other side. So you let that fillet on. Yeah, because if it's cut, it'll be too flat to the table. Yep. I noticed your... my second fillet always sucks. Yeah. Compared to my exactly. first. Exactly. It took me like a year to learn that. <laughs> Same thing, outline. On top of the ribs, right down to the spine. And then outline. Beautiful. Outline the stomach. Sides are outlined all the way. Yep. Uh, I'll leave it connected up here as an anchor on the okay. knife underneath. And I just run that blade up on top of the spine. All the way. Beauty. The blade is off. Oh, yeah, it's slab of meat. Nice. Same thing on the other side, huh? I think you've done that once or twice. <laughs> there you go. And then repeat 55 more times. 55 more. All right, now that we got everything cleaned up, we need to go to the grocery store, get some ingredientes, and I will see you guys in the kitchen. Okay, 
right here is what we're working with today. You just saw Michael fillet up our mahi. I cleaned them up a little bit, took the skin off, and removed any pieces of red. You guys have seen me do that in a million videos, so you don't need to see that again. But this is what we got for our ingredients. Some brown sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, paprika, black pepper, salt and pepper, and some cumin. I'll play some sick B-roll right now so you guys can just pause the video if you want to actually make this. Also, what we're going to be doing is making an avocado of lime sauce. So I've got some of what we're going to be putting in there. I'm going to be using one whole avocado. I'm going to be using two limes. A little bit of jalapeno because I like it a little spicy. And we're going to chop up a cilantro. Then we're going to top off our tacos with some lettuce and red cabbage. So let's get to it. Now I'm just mixing together some of our spices so I already added. About a two couple spoonfuls of brown sugar, a couple spoonfuls of paprika. I could measure these out, but where is the fun in that, y'all? You gotta kind of live on the wild side. Also, I'm um, kind of crunched for time right now, so I'm just, I'm just going with the flow. Just added my onion powder, a little bit of salt, some of that cumin. Boom. Chili powder. Oh man, this is good. I already know this is gonna be good. I'm getting excited. And some black pepper. Mix all that together and that's gonna go onto our fish. I'm gonna cook our fish in a little bit of olive oil on high heat. Make sure every piece of fish has some olive oil on it. Actually, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. There we go. And that fish shouldn't take very long. These are some thinner pieces. Honestly, hindsight is uh, 2020. Now that I'm thinking about the end state of these fish pieces, I probably should have cut them into more uh, taco sized portions um, before this actually really hot down here but yeah probably should have cut them into taco sized pieces before I cooked them guess we'll have to do that after if you guys can't already tell I'm definitely not the most experienced in the kitchen but it's a big goal of mine in 2020 to really spend more time in the kitchen to learn a lot more as I've gotten older I've been more conscious I've become more conscious of where my food is coming from. So especially fish, something that I can control as a fisherman, catching my own fish, cleaning my own fish, knowing that it's taken care of and it was done responsibly and humanely, whatever it is, I, I know that it's a quality source of food and I can feel proud of what I'm eating because I know from start to finish, I was involved in the process. So I hope you guys are interested. I hope these are semi-interesting to you all and there's gonna be a lot more content like this on in 2020, you're gonna see me learn a lot and you're gonna see me experiment a lot. So some of these might not be great. Some of these are gonna, might be amazing. I, some of these are going to be amazing, but I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. This next step is hugely important to the overall success of this. Y'all, I, I can't stress it enough, honestly. I'm kind of freaking out, but let's, all right, let's see. Getting close, getting stressed out. All right. Oh man, oh man. Mmm. Y'all, I think, I think we're gonna be all right. Yep, the show must go on. We're gonna make this happen. Okay, that's enough messing around for one day, y'all. Seriously, like, hey, you, got, you guys need to quit joking around. This is serious business. Honestly, this is my uh, first time ever attempting to cut an avocado, so let's see how this plays out. It's a bold strategy, cop. We'll see how it plays out. I've uh, seen some people do it, so I'm just gonna do exactly what I've seen. I'm gonna cut around the edge. Honestly, I don't even know if this thing's ripe. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's bad. Maybe it's already gone bad. We'll find out. There's that. 
And we're going to separate it. Now that looks like avocado to me. And we're going to remove the seed. I think that's how you do it. You just stick it with a knife. Am I doing this wrong? Get out of there, dick. Come on. Come here. I think I did it right. That looks like an avocado. The recipe calls for a whole avocado, so I'm gonna slice and dice this bad boy and then mash it up into the sauce. gonna mash up some of this guy I'm guessing it's not perfectly ripe because I think avocado is supposed to be a little bit more green for, than that not from California so you know I don't eat avocados like all you Californians out there but I'm learning I'm trying to trying to up my food game so let's see let's see what we can do with this next I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of unflavored Greek yogurt Got that in there. Check this out, y'all. Whenever I have to buy something at the Japanese grocery store, um, it's always a struggle that I'm sitting there on my freaking phone with Google Translate just being like, um, I hope this is what I think it is. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water to just thin it out slightly. Mix that all together. Next, I'm just gonna chop up some cilantro. That's this recipe calls for a little bit of that. I don't think you're supposed to use the stems. Are you supposed to use the stems? Eh, I'm not using them. Get rid of that. I'll get this as fine as my patience will allow me to chop it, and then I'm gonna mix this in. So I'm going to juice the remaining bit of that lime that I had already used to season my uh, Corona. And get that guy in there. About a lime's worth of juice, minus about a wedge. Boom. Get that guy. That bad boy. And let's mix it back all together. Almost forgot my freaking jalapeno. I knew I knew it was missing a little something and it needed a little bit of kick, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna seed out this jalapeno and then I'm gonna really, really finely chop it up. Just one I think will give it enough. I don't, I don't want it overpowering the flavor of the rest of it. Give her a taste. I think it's pretty good. Only other thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of salt. Boom, nice piece of fish on the tortilla. Another one. Go. Little bit of the sauce. You know, I tasted the sauce again, and if I had to do it again, I would probably use less lime. I'd probably use like, I don't know, half a lime, a third of a lime, because it's kind of overpowering the avocado. But it's still still doable and that's one of the great things about the kitchen is it's an experimentation of what you got every time you step in so you try new things and you learn what you like and what you don't like some people might like this a little bit better I'm just gonna add a little bit of lettuce to this guy and let's give it a shot this is what we're working with I don't know about y'all, it looks pretty good to me. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Mm. 
I think that's pretty good. It could be because I'm starving. Or it could be because that recipe is pretty dope. But either way. I think I'm definitely going to make this again. All right, y'all. That is going to be the end of the video. Super awesome day on the water. Super awesome fishing. Really can't ask for anything more. And I got to come back and have an amazing meal out of it. If you guys like today's video, please, please, please leave it a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the section below if you have any questions or just, you know, want to say what's up. I read all the comments. I appreciate you guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dying. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in that next video. Later. <laughs>